So this one is a little bit different. Not from any of the animals we've looked at so far. It's a flywing. Huh. Interesting. Seems a lot more rounded than the... F not fly... Yeah, bee. Honeybee wing, not fly wing. I think I said it wrong. It's a honeybee wing. Seems a lot less... Spiky and a little more rounded than the, uh... Fly wing. Wonder why. I know it's gonna be a lot less spiky than the, uh... Dragonfly wing, but, you know... Why is that? Why is it rounded? <clears throat> but yeah, it seems to have broken right around there. That's fine. It's a very small tear. Plus, they wouldn't even know have noticed if they didn't put it under the microscope, because I can't see that. <clears throat> but it's interesting to get the various different parts separated, because, you know, you can look at a fly, or not fly, oh, a bee, and then, you know... Look at the uh, entire thing, but when you get to look at a wing, you can really look at just the wing. Look at the details there, because when you look at an entire bee, it's very three-dimensional, and your is everything's gonna be crumpled up or kind of falling apart. But with just a single part, you can get some more detail there. But yeah, there's definitely those dots that were on the fly wing for the membranes, but I'm not sure what the entire purpose of anything here is. But yeah, it's interesting to see because it kind of goes like... Like, it doesn't have those spikes going up along the side. Give me a moment. It doesn't have those spikes going up along the side, and it doesn't have the, um... Spiky rose stem looking thing from the, uh, dragonfly wing. It's more of a... Well, what you'd expect a wing to be. On a, on an insect, and it's yellow, because for some reason all of them are yellow. Well, is that just what happens when you have chitin that doesn't have any fluids there? Or is it something else? Because I imagine they had to dehydrate this in order to get it to stay like this. But is that just chitin, or is there some kind of dye there? Because keep in mind the paramecium were blue and red. Um. So were the, uh, uh, not the Ascaris. The Ascaris were just red. Ascaris Alpova. No, it was the, uh, Rotifer. That one, that, that slide was also very red and blue. So I'm not sure what's going on there. If you have any idea, please post in the comments. I'd like to hear an explanation, but, you know. It froze again. It's not doing well. Unfortunately, I can't control the lag because I don't know why it's lagging. My computer is kind of... I'm not trying to brag here because I'm not a fan of bragging. There is no way my computer should be lagging with a microscope, which means either it's some weird kind of bug or the microscope itself is lagging. And I don't know how to fix either of those. Although the microscope is not that great, you know. It was at the time. It's an improvement over the last microscope, but it's still early on in the scale of microscopes. <laughs> like, you know, because it's definitely an improvement, because I could show you visually that there's an improvement. I changed my titling um, methods recently, so it'd be a little bit harder for you to find it on yourself, but I know where it is. But yeah, basically, like, looking at the same spider, um, yeah, it's just a significant difference. Because, yeah, I probably would be able to see this under my other microscope, but, like, this section, or not that section, like the entire wing would be visible at any one time. It would be far less detail, far less zoom, really. Anyway. Like the other one's more of a glorified camera. This one's still kind of, eh, but 
you know. Over time, if the channel grows at any significant amount, I'll be improving my microscope in the future. But, yeah, it's, up. it's only if that happens. If it doesn't, I still might anyway, but, you know, I don't have money. <laughs> but yeah, just a matter of, uh, I, I would like to as soon as I can, but I can't. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, that was a, a honeybee wing.